Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make spicy green bean and chicken stir fry or p a t p i k i n g Okay, first I going to have to blend our green bean first. To I have the boiling water and I going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, and now I going to put our our green bean. Salt will help the green bean stay uh, fresh and the color green. So we add a little bit of salt. Okay, I use uh, one pound the green bean. I cut about two inch. Okay, I going to let them uh, cook about maybe 30 second until the color a uh, change to be uh, brighter. So. That means the bean already cooked. Okay, so I put our green bean inside the boiling water. I use, I think I cook about 40 seconds, and now I'm going to stop the cooking process. I have the ice, the cold water, and ice ready. I'm going to remove our green bean to the cold water. Mm, very cold water. Okay. As you see, we add a little bit of salt, so make our green bean stay um the. Color fast and green. So. Okay, now I'm going to uh, set our green bean on the side, and we can move on to the next step. Okay, now my wok is hot. I'm going to add a uh, four tablespoon coconut oil. Okay, coconut oil. Or oh, if you not have coconut oil, vegetable, it work okay too. Okay, just a second. I'm going to add the um, chopped garlic. I use four c o p e chopped garlic. Mm -hmm. And now I use a uh, medium heat. All right, chopped garlic go in. Give them the give them the mix so they not um the, our garlic not burn. Hi, baby. <laughs> the little baby sit me cooking. <laughs> sit d o n see me cooking. Okay. Right now, our garlic start changing the color. I'm going to add the um, red curry. I use pour out the red curry. Okay. I'm going to turn on the heat down because I not want the our red curry getting burned. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit. Alright. Now the heat on low, and I'm going to cook. Um, our red curry until the red curry start getting you really good smell. It's going to take you about three minutes to um, cook the curry, so not be large piece. This is the key to make the curry smell really good. All right, have to be slow cook the curry. All right, next I'm going to add the, our chicken. I use chicken bread today, and I cut to the bite size. I use a uh, one and a half pound. Okay, now. Um, you can turn on the high heat right now when you add the chicken. So I'm going to turn on the high heat. Okay, now I'm going to make the chicken and curry. I'm going to mix them well together. Wow, I cook a lot. I use a lot of chicken. So the, this one really, really good. Okay, and now the curry and the chicken cook together, but they little bit dry. So I'm going to add a little bit the um, a chicken broth, or you can use the water, but add them little bit at a time, not pour them all the um, a lot at the same time. So just add a little bit and then uh, continue cooking. And when they dry, you add a little bit more water or chicken stock. About half a cup of chicken stock. I didn't use them all. Okay, depend depend the curry gonna get dry or not. Okay, now I'm going to add the seasoning. So I'm going to use the one tablespoon. This is um my seasoning soy sauce, the Golden Mountain. Okay, and next I'm going to add the one and a half tablespoon fish sauce. Okay. Okay, and next. 
about one tablespoon the oil sauce Okay, now I'm going to give everything the good mix again. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, the curly smell really, really good right now. Okay, give this a good mix. Okay, next, um, to balance all the salt in it, I'm going to add the two teaspoon the sugar. Okay, and this uh, recipe. And very common in Thailand, we use we eat a lot for the dinner or lunch, and they're very easy to cook for us in Thailand because the every house always have the red curry and chicken and green bean. The really easy recipe, not a lot, not a lot of ingredient, but you, everybody in the family enjoy it. Okay. So now I add the sugar. So now the chicken already cooked with the curly, very good. You can keep in the taste at this time. If you need more sweet or more salty, you can add it on this time. Okay, mine already taste um, the taste that I like. So next, I'm going to add some herbs. So I'm going to add some uh, thinly sliced copper lamb, copper lamb leaf. Okay, I use six copper lamb leaf and thinly sliced. <coughs> oh, the curly, <coughs> curly got me. All right, keep them just a quick uh, mix. Okay, except now the your chicken already cooked. And next, I'm going to add some cyano pepper. I use three and then I select them. Okay, I use three, but it's too spicy for you, the cyano pepper. You can use the less sweet pepper or sweet pepper. All right, now everything almost done. Oh, okay, and the last thing, I'm going to add the green bean that we already cooked earlier. Okay, add all the green bean. It's gonna be nice and crisp. Okay. Give them the quick mix. This will be our last step. Okay. Okay. Mix until the curly chicken, the green bean, all cover together. Okay. okay. After I mix the chicken and curly and the green bean, I mix them all well together already. That's it. Now all we done. But if you like the green bean more cooked, you like it more softer, you can cook longer or somebody like it crisp, just cook a little bit. Okay, but now um, we're done. That's it, all we done. We're gonna serve with the, our jasmine rice, so perfect to serve with the jasmine rice. Okay, um, really nice, quick and easy. Now I'm ready to try this. Okay, ready to dig it in. Get some pieces of chicken, some chili, Okay, some pieces of green bean. Okay, I gonna eat with the jasmine rice. All right. Hi, Ray Ray, my little baby. Yeah, when she owner, she will have some spicy Thai food too. Oh, now, wow. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, they smell so good with all the curly and the herb. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, this is um, Thai food that in Thailand um, I grow up with. Mm -hmm. Spicy and smell really good with all the herb and the red curly. I want to eat another bite and another bite. And also you can serve with the fried egg. Oh. Alright, the second bite gonna go in. Oh, I love how the spicy actually. Mm. Mm. And the green bean, if you cook in this way, it cooks perfectly. Another quick and easy recipe and really, really good if you like Thai food and you like spicy. Forget to tell you where the apron. <laughs> Look at my chest. Okay, thank you you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like this recipe, please give up a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you. Say bye, Lele. Bye, thank you.